Hello everybody, my name is Anatoly and today we're watching Rick and Morty, the Morty's Mind Blowers. Let's see how this goes. Morty, hurry! Upside down. Are the truth tortoise! Morty, whatever you do, don't drop the truth tortoise. Also, really important, whatever you do, don't look into its eyes. I, I did look at it, Rick. I've been looking at it. Now you're gonna know everything, Morty. Good job. We what are they doing in Transylvania? It's in my head! And then nothing is ever gonna be the way uh, Rick and Morty episodes start. If you're an epileptic, you have no chance in hell of surviving a Rick and Morty intro. I, I can't get that truth tortoise out of my head! Yeah, I told you not to look into its eyes. Hey, Morty, let's watch some interdimensional cable. Remember how I used what to do that? What the hell did he? I can't, I can't go on. I, I can't go on like this with the truth tortoise shit in my head. I, I wish you could just- Erase the memory from your mind? How did you know I was gonna say that? Come on, Morty. Come with me. After you. What the hell is this? This, Morty, is my archive of all the experiences you've begged me to remove from your life, lest you go insane. Uh. I call them Morty's Mind Blowers. What if you accidentally put them back all at once? I think that's gonna be equivalent to the experience of taking a piss with the boner. And we'll be doing this instead of interdimensional cable. Thank Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ah, here it is. <clears throat> Classic. There's no dust on it because this isn't the first time we've done this. What? I call this one Moonspiracy. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty much a rewind episode. Huh, wow. That's incredible. What the heck? Morty, do you realize how ridiculous that sounds? Yeah, pretty crazy story, Morty. Are you serious? Half the crap we've seen, and you think that sounds crazy? I've been to 300 versions of Earth's moon, including this one, and I've never seen signs of a regular dude, as you describe him, hanging out up there. It's probably just a smudge on the lens. Yeah, this is one of those cases where you need another conspiracy theory, because all the other ones uh, turned out to be true. Smudge on the lens? I know the difference between a man threatening me and a smudge on the goddamn lens, Summer! Morty, calm down. Are you feeling okay? I'm Fine! So sensitive. <laughs> Kids, I'd like to introduce you all to our new guidance counselor, Mr. Lunas. I look forward to helping guide you all towards a brighter future. I believe every student should shoot for the moon. Is this guy trying to steal the moon? Or have sex with it? I think the fact that he looks excessively French makes this one even more accurate. Got you now, you son of a bitch. What's this? Proof that Mr. Lunas isn't who he says he Spider is. Spider-Man. A guidance counselor? I, I assume he's qualified to be one. Uh, who isn't? But he also lives on the moon. Okay. Hmm. Is that it? Is he doing anything to hurt anyone? Oh, he's up to something. I think I understand. Up to something, lives on the moon. Okay, I'll talk to him. Principal Vagina. Actually quite respectable from Principal Vagina. Maybe he's the only one that has had a similar experience of being raped by an alternative universe version of his grandfather. What did he say? Deny the moon stuff, but that's what pedophiles do. They deny it's their bread and butter. Pedophile? You don't think so? <laughs> I thought the moon thing might have been code. No, he's literally from the moon! Well, you saw him react. Moon or not, that dude likes him young. Good shot, he's French, good shot. Gordon Lunas was a good- <laughs> Him to <laughs> so that's what actually traumatizes Morty. The fact that he accidentally, indirectly killed an innocent pedophile. Take his own life. But we want to remember the good things. Like how from a certain angle, some people would say, he looked like a smudge. No! <laughs> 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 this is a good punchline, ladies and gentlemen. Be the first one to cast a stone at me if you have not had a similar experience in your life. What if he really was a French pedophile? You never know. Actually, French pedophile, that's tautology. Jesus, I made that guy kill himself! Only in a literal sense. Here's one I call Morty's <laughs> Menagerie. They don't all have titles, though. It's not a Simpsons Halloween special. More like a clip show made of clips you never saw. 
What animal did he? I can't believe we got put into a menagerie. So this guy collects living beings? Yeah, you know, like commemorative plates, but less off-putting. You'll get it when you're still actively dating in your 40s. Assess uh, this with cold indifference, you beanie-headed prick! <laughs> Keep it down! Light bulb guy! Luck. Menagerie beneath the boulder people of Granador 7. I can't take it anymore, Rick! <gasps> relax, Morty! I can't relax! R -R Rick, we, we gotta get out of here! Uh, I don't care what it takes, anything! Anything? Anything! Alright, well, you're gonna have to take off your shirt. Not well, the, the concept of freedom, it does not primarily depend on the nature of the things that surround you. Even a prisoner or a guy in the menagerie can feel more free than any other guy outside. Yet, I'll tell you when. Dear God. What? The signal turned out to be... There's no other way to put it. Instructions. For? A vehicle, sir. An interstellar vehicle. We'll need a pilot. I wonder if there's a volunteer. Mm. Oh, the schematics specify a second, smaller pilot. I mean, they really specify smaller. They have to be exactly five foot three. <laughs> you may have majored in liberal arts, but I think you're about to make. <laughs> you have majored in liberal arts. Hands down, that is one of the most offensive insults ever. Except for maybe you have majored in uh, gender studies. Primary systems check. Auxiliary systems check. See you soon. They're just gonna replace them in the menagerie. <laughs> okay, now. Greetings. Sure. We possess forms your mind can accept. Here are some customary clothing gifts. Please, put them on. Uh, may we? Uh, of course, yes. We followed your instructions. We have so much to learn from you. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> At least the liberal studies of yours is gonna help you deal with this situation. Imagine studying liberal arts and then having to pay the loan back for it. Hey, how come I was able to see those other people's memories? I, I wouldn't have been around for that. Yeah, sometimes I gotta do a little <laughs> editing, Morty. You know, it helps my colors play a little bit better upon revisiting. AI. Hey, this one, the whole enchilada. Here, Morty, this will make your- Vomit's grocery. Food. Now can we keep shopping? I'm Zigzag. Oh shit, Morty, get behind me, it's a f***ing alien overlord! It's okay. Here. Oh, I misjudged. I'm Floop Floopian, please kill me? That's right, Morty. The Floop Floopians achieve an eternal orgasmic afterlife, so long as they're killed by a great warrior. What kind of jihad and Valhalla amalgamation is this one? Never mind, the jihadists would have to technically take their own lives. Flattered, by the way, thank you very much. So you're gonna kill him? Uh, let's get some lunch first. So, you want to get shot in the head, or...? Huh, well, as long as the wound is fatal, I don't really mind where you shoot me. Cool, I'm gonna go take a quick shit. Well, I gotta say, you know, I'm a little envious. Your species has an actual afterlife. That's gotta be nice. What do you mean? Well, you know, here on Earth, we don't know what's going on. It must be nice for you guys to, you know, have that, have that proofs in the pudding, you know, evidence. Evidence? There's supposed to be evidence? Um, yeah, uh... You know, otherwise, how do you know if it's true? Well, uh, Morty, that's called uh, religious tradition. And usually you do not question that. But I have a premonition that they're gonna kill him in the most bloody way oh, fucking possible. <clears throat> Wait, you don't... Alright, so you wanna do this here or outside? Run! I don't wanna die! <laughs> <laughs> <It's all real>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there is an afterlife, but not in the heavenly sense of the word afterlife. I shouldn't have doubted it! I shouldn't have let you make me doubt it! Oh, I blame you! I blame you! He said there wasn't any evidence! That was a ton of evidence! Well, silver lining. Now I know their religion's real. They have a hell and it does not look good. I noticed you never finished your chimichanga, so... I got some room for it now, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Take all my chimichanga. Shit. How many of these are just horrible mistakes I've made? I mean, maybe I'd stop making so many if I let myself learn from them. Don't break your back creating a lesson, Morty. It's a freeform anthology. I'm getting annoyed you're not hearing it's a that. It's freeform anthology. You around me, your mind's been blown countless times, and not always by yourself. Ah, oh, shit, I don't even... This better not have been a good one. What is this? Great, booger aids, aids booger. I gotta start using real file names. In the meantime, enjoy a grab bag of mind blowers I call poop aids underscore copy. I'm not an unreasonable man, Beth Smith. 
I know children are everything to a mammal. I will spare one of their lives. You simply have to choose. Summer! Summer. That fast? I swear to God, if there was a horse as a third option, I think we know the answer. You're not gonna believe this. I went to Phoebe instead of Titan. It's like, hello, Saturn. After 10 moons, time to stop naming and start numbering, you know? What's, what, what, what's with you, assholes? Morty, please, don't do this. <laughs> Your Morty is gone. I am Voltimatron, destroyer of worlds. Grandpa Rick, there must be some scientific way to save him. Not scientific, but there may be a way. Morty, I know you're in there. It's me, your grandpa. I know I can be mean, but I love you, Morty. We all do. You gotta fight this thing. I know you can. You're stronger than all of us. Morty, it's Mom. We love you. You have to fight it. Come on, Morty. Fight that stupid worm thing. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> we love you so much. <laughs> yes, Morty, come on. You're doing it. <laughs> Imagine waking up one day as Lana Rhodes kid and uh, seeing that seeing your mother do quite uh, nasty things for an extra million of dollars Should we pull it out? No, don't touch it. Just keep loving Morty. We still love you But I do have a thing. It's so good. Do I have to keep looking? Jeez, Morty, come on, pinch it off already <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Morty, I love you <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that guy who went to hell did not have such a bad faith after all. This one still beats being a female in India, but no, it doesn't. Permission? Excuse me, but I ordered the large evil space worm. I know, it's like, is that a demon slug in your stomach or are you just happy to... <laughs> Sorry! Well, I guess it's nice to know the whole family sucks. So if the blue ones are my fault and the purple ones are my family's, what are the red ones? Yeah, don't, don't read into it, Morty. No, please. <sighs> Shit! We need to find shelter before the sun set, Morty. Venzenulon 9 has a night temperature of 300 below. We'll freeze, Morty. We'll, we'll be dead in seconds. I, you know what? I don't quite understand the concept of giving Morty those memories back, even for one last reroll. The fact that Grandpa Rick stores them, that tells us a lot about Grandpa Rick. I, I think I saw a cave over there. I've seen too many movies, Morty. A cave isn't gonna cut it. We're gonna have to use Bebo. Bebo led us to water. He, he's our friend. He won't even feel it. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> <laughs> Get in Bebo! I think I've seen this in uh, in an ultimate survival episode. For the ice limit! Here it comes! <sighs> it's not freezing. Wait, are we on Vincenulon 9 or Vincenulon 7? Yeah, I think this is a reference to one of those Bear Grylls shows. He was stranded in a desert and it was about to be very freezing during the night, so he just slept in a camel. Wait a minute, why would I ask for that to be removed? Are the red one stuff you wanted removed? Ooh, that's clever, Morty. But I don't use color to sort things because I'm not a mouse <laughs> in a European children's book. Then why are all those pink ones by the liquor? Liquor? <laughs> <sighs> Shit, that was close. We lost Captain Sky. He gave his life for the uprising. Yeah. Really makes you think, huh, Morty? We should never take things for granite. What? I'm just saying, life's short. We shouldn't take things for granite. Are you saying granite? Well, yeah. It's granted! With a D! Take things for granted! Did you actually think it was... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Rick! W what are you, a boulder rock person? How long have you been saying that wrong? Oh, oh you like that, huh? I, 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 I bet that really blows your mind. I mean, yeah, it's kind of great. You want me to erase it? What? Y you can do that? That's actually pretty cool. If only I had the opportunity of erasing all the village priest memories. I would not do it. You piece of shit! You, you, you're, 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 you're a fucking asshole, Rick! Hey, oh, take it easy, Morty. Come on, just relax. No, I'm not gonna fucking relax. Come here! Let go of Come me, you little... <laughs> take that! Oh. Um... Ugh. What? What's going on? Where am I? Who are we? Who am I? I think I'm an adolescent boy? Huh. And I'm an elderly man. And we appear to be in some kind of... Secret confined space. Yeah. It's not gonna end um, up good. Don't look at me like that. I'm, for all we know, you could be the fucking weirdo. We'll just tell Principal Vagina and we're gonna have uh, Rick being dealt with in about five minutes. Now, be brutally honest with me. Do you think Rick has a room with the um, CP, Central Processor Unit? Huh. These things are obviously storage units, and since we can't remember what went wrong, my guess is that the technology involves memory and that this thing on your head is designed to. 
Tell us the code, Jagoff. It's pointless. He's stonewalling. Rick, if we don't unlock those vaccines, Earth dies. You know, it might be time to step up your interrogation. Not sure what you're implying, Morty, but some lines I don't cross. Yeah, well, I crossed every line I had when this bastard tried to kill Jessica. <laughs> okay, see those two fleshy sacks under his chin, Morty? Grab them. You remember the codes now? Twist. No, no, no. Give us the codes, man. No, no, no. Twist harder, buddy. Harder. Okay, let go, let go. Let him breathe. He wants to make a deal. Half the codes now, half after you finish. But can't we trust? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> this might actually be the CP collection of rig that I was talking about. Uh, you, you know. I thought I was torturing him. Oh, and this disappoints you? Do I tell him we don't have a deal, Morty? Because if we can kill our enemies, but we can't jack them off, then how are we better than them? There are some crises you do not trust. Partners, I guess, and we fight aliens? Like Men in Black? Men in Black. Men in Black. I have Men in Black 2 in here. So, so you get the general idea. <laughs> not quite. It's basically an endless string of callbacks All to- Alright! Save it for YouTube. I'll keep looking for clues. <laughs> What are you doing? You want your shelf level or not? And if I say yes, you're gonna provide that for me with that? Yes, see the bubble? I'm familiar with the bubble, Morty. I also dabble in precision, and if you think, you can even approach it with your sad, naked caveman eyeball and a bubble of f***ing air. You're the reason this species is a failure, and it makes me angry. You're drunk. You wanna put up a shelf? Put up a shelf. You wanna experience true level? Do you? <sighs> okay, yell at your goddamn grandson as much as you want, but don't touch that instrument, please. As a Moldovan, it really breaks my heart. <sighs> All right, come on. <sighs> wow, it's so. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, Christ! Uh, yeah. Oh, True level, oh, bitch. Oh, Morty, come on, we're leaving for school. Oh, 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 everything's crooked! Reality is poison! I, I wanna go back! I hate this! What's his deal? <laughs> Morty, Morty, Morty! Go to school, Summer. I'll go in Morty's memory and do a little... <laughs> Lambs to the cosmic slaughter! And that's why we need mistakes, ladies and gentlemen. How can you not possibly become a vegetable with that scientific precision? Be in charge of what I get to remember. Why? Good question. <laughs> Morty, I need darkness to prime these optical inductors. Hit the leftmost light switch by the door for me. The left. Okay, lights on. Uh, so, did I just hear three distinct light switch clicks? W w what do you mean? I feel like the three sounds I heard could be explained by an initial erroneous flipping of a switch on the right, followed by a hasty corrective flipping of the requested switch, then, during the resultant darkness and silence, a third shameful unflipping of the initially flipped switch. Is my assessment accurate? Yeah, that's that's basically how, how it all shaked out. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, come on. What? Come on. I don't want to even know what kind of lessons Grandpa Rick tends to teach Morty. There's not a lot of uh, educational matter in that. More like uh, excruciating pain in the whole body. Grab a shovel. W w what is- Grab a shovel! For educational what purposes. Can't find a goddamn zip tie anywhere. All right, f it. Ah, zip tie. Oh, Ginger. Out of every single black-haired or blonde-haired lady of this universe. Maybe they're ginger by choice, but that's even worse. Why are you making me do this for you again? <laughs> Who doesn't wish they could talk to animals, Rick? Most humans. There, I'm done. Just stay out of trouble. Gotta keep moving. Can't stop. Up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, stop, down. The queen needs food. <laughs> the babies need food. The queen makes babies. 
The situation in Argentina has proven less convenient than predicted. Well, we'll have to re-destabilize uh, the economy, refocus labor class outrage from upper to middle, foster a coup, and install a compliant regime. Same as Guatemala? Yes, but you can double Nice, it. nice. That's why we need Millet in Argentina. Because of the big-ass squirrel conspiracy. I always knew that libertarians, they're kind of the opposite of uh, squirrels. Quorum to pick a new pope in case the Exxon Monsanto thing falls through in Africa. Why not use chemtrails? Put a canopy on Uganda. They're set to agitate any mo- What? That kid is watching us. So? We're squirrels. He's a kid. He's watching us like he hears what we're saying. Hey, kid. Young man. Come here, little boy. Tell Daphne to run a 199 on a possible Doolittle. Little boy, we'll give you wishes if you can hear us. We can make you fly. Squirrel massacre. Andy. Oh, shit, Morty, what did you do? We're gonna exterminate all the squirrels of this universe. All right, Morty, pack your shit. That's only gonna keep them down for a little bit, Morty. You f with squirrels, Morty. We got at, at least five minutes before they're backing up on our ass, Morty. We at least they did not exterminate all of them. We do not need another squirricide. Never ask the squirrels what they were doing in 1941. Pack up and move to a new reality, Morty. You know, we I said we could only do that a couple of times. We're f over here because of these damn squirrels, Morty. <laughs> I don't know what my reaction is, but I think I'm mounting in suspicion of you. Well, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna remember everything, everything! So now they're only gonna be left with the bad memories. Well, I'm talking as if there were any positive memories. Actually, the death of the Birdman at his wedding, quite nice. That's how Rick and Morty should be. The bearings said that. When the hell did Poopy Butthole propose to Morty? I thought he was really crippled, and Poopy Butthole was also not in the best physical shape. Well, what'd you find out? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you gonna do? Kill me? No, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill myself. All those memories just erased, sitting in this room collecting dust. What's the point of going on if most of everything that happens just ends up sitting in here? All right, kid. I don't know much aside from the fact that Men in Black 2 is a joyless cash grab, but I do know that whatever you have brewing That's around true. in your noggin really connected with you. I can't deny that, and I can't deny that I'm inspired by your passion. I want in. Suicide Pact! Yes! Yeah, let's do it! Together, you old son of a bitch! On three! One! Two! You guys doing Morty's Mind Blowers? Morty's Mind Blowers? <sighs> Grandpa, is this a scenario three? Uh, w what's that? And who who are you? Oh man, it's a scenario four. <laughs> <laughs> so they have to use Summer as a backup. I would really not delegate this task to Summer. Maybe one of those hot ginger girls that can be attractive with that device, but not Summer. <laughs> Damn it! I don't get paid enough for this shit. There's a craftsman nearby. I can smell it. Whoa, what? what? It's cable TV. Damn. How, how, how did we fall asleep during interdimensional cable? Yeah, what the hell, Summer? Summer, you dumb how bitch. How long were we out? How much you of dumb interdimensional bitch? cable did how we miss, Summer? You stupid bitch. Why did you miss, let Summer? us fall asleep? You, you dumb bitch. bitch. All right, Morty. Fuck this noise. Let's get out of here and go on a classic Rick and Morty adventure. Yeah, all right, Rick. I'm all in. No wonder you're constantly fighting with each other and behind schedule. What? Nothing. Metal! Monkey here metal, monkey happy. Even double time! Oh, I even oh, forgot about the existence of uh, Jerry. Jerry's mind blowers? <laughs> Follow the boys! We're charged and aimed at Alpha Centauri, ready for transport. They fell for it! Let's send Gobo home! <laughs> All right. Where's Dad? He should be here any second! It's funny, Jerry spent his life seeking attention, but in the end, humanity's instinctive dismissal of him saved an alien's life. He knows where to go, right? Yep, any minute now. 
Did it work? Did you guys get Gobo home? You have Gobo! You, you were supposed to bring him to the hill! As if. He was in your basket! He was in your car! Ugh. Oof, dibs on its stuff. Let's be honest, the Jerry memory could have been way worse than this. And I'm talking five dicks, ten testicles worse than this here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is by far one of the greatest episodes of the third season. Of course, it's one of those typical rewind episodes that everybody tends to hate. But they've really done something authentic to replace the third part of the interdimensional cable. Which was also great, but making a third part, it would become like uh, Men in Black too. But I think that Rick and Morty, they kind of get a kink out of rewinding bad memory. There is certainly an inner insatiable desire that nothing can beat but this, seeing how you jerk off intergalactic monsters. All in all, I absolutely love the way this one is written. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching. This would mean like, subscribe, comment, all your real stuff. Screw you guys. I'm a gay here.